Hello, hello everyone. I am Darkness and welcome back to Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Um, we are going deeper and deeper into the depths and now we're following a figment of a light that might be Dillian's spirit leading her or a siren calling in the distance leading us to death. Don't know one way or the other unless we follow. Our means of defense are broken, but I'm assuming somehow we get another. The dark rot is growing on our arm, even though I haven't lost a fight. The voices are not being kind. He has a new sword. I saw that sword play. Our weapon awaits. Where is he? Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. getting stronger. I heard one of the voices tell me. And I still see sword play. It's already disappeared. Nothing lives here, not even you. It's in your mind. You think you can see it. It's in your mind. Yeah, and what are you voices? You're just in my mind too. The lone figure of a boy. Sword play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gleam lived. For the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. Dillian taught her to fight. Then she went. She went to banish her own darkness, and while she was gone fighting, Dillian was killed by raiders. I'm more than curious about what is down that path, but I also know that games usually, like this, usually try to direct you a little bit, try to give you a little bit of uh, insight on what you need to do. Maybe the next puzzle awaits up here and I need to first acknowledge it before I go off and explore that little part. And it looks like I'm right on that. Is it gonna let me focus on it? Wait. This is different. This is different. Maybe I was supposed to go past. I can't focus on it. I need a weapon. It looks like we're going back down. Uh. 
Why was she hidden, though? Why did her father... Just because she was a bit different? Father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother in law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses it. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. When they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. It's just a deception. The sword pulled out of the tree. I'm glad I listened to that story before I ran for it. Before the rot, before her quest. How does he so effortlessly caught the world in bliss. If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. Is this truly a love story of someone she was with? Or someone that she wished she could be with? It sounds like she was with him, but... It also sounds like she just wanted to live the way he did. What's your name? Senwa. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you, and... You learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Would you come and watch? And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. 
No. And all your suffering would have been for nothing. Shut up! I I have no idea what's real and what's not. What's the gods and what's her own mind tormenting? I have... It is hard to know. How about this... This story can't be continued until I get to him by the tree? They are being prepared for execution. Hmm. No. Here's the stone. The plank. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy. And implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though. But because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Well, don't keep me in suspense. And now you know the rest of this story. That's what I want to hear. There we go. There it is. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan. One that is cold of heart and pure of blood. This is not going to go good places when this story ends. Is that another one? I mean, I won't know until they I get to them and they light up, so... <laughs> Excuse me. I could have gotten here either way, correct? Yes. That is a sword. Take the sword. A sword. Take it. Tell him left of you. Take it. Take it. Take it.
is Gramr. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Gramr by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shard. Go to the shards. What's the shard? Find it. The shards are part of the sword. It is the sword. Get closer. What can you see? Go to it. It's not a safe. king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword, Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Having no answer for it. Death would be the thing everyone's looked to conquer and no one succeeded. There is no answer for it. It is inevitable, but why? Why is this game obsessed with it? When I know it's to bring back. There's there's something more that it's trying to say, and I don't know how to put it into words. Visuals are amazing. Here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Oh, these trials. There he is. There he is. Dilly, there he is. Finally. You found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. You have to find him. This is your mission. Find him. You have to use everything you have. And find him. Get him back. He's just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she? Find him. I have to use everything and get him back. I'm at the root of the tree. Where the sword is an illusion. Can I burn these? Hmm. Backtracking for just a moment. Okay. 
One way leads out. I'll find him. Alright. Did you hear that? Nothing. Was that voices? Is that the ears? Voice of the voice is dead. Not Dillian. Dillian's calling to you. Can Where you hear is he? him? Where is he? He sounds like he's getting further away. Senua. You remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. That path lit up immediately. But I want more story. I can hear him. <gasps> Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. It looks just like the one I passed through a second ago. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another Think. way. Think. 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 Focus. Think. Use your mind. Where's he gone? He's disappeared. You Look. need to slip through your fingers once again. Think. Think clearly. You have to find, find another way. There another has way. to be another way. I'm following the voice now. I think it's this one. This way. It's not him. It's not him. We told you. We told you it was a trick. I have to follow his voice. Not that way. I was so focused on getting story I didn't realize I had to follow his voice. I'd love to get in that to that secret room. Oh no. Dillion wants me to face my fears. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me.
It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief and son. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Why through his hand? Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send my hand. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Hmm. Well, I missed the story in there. And that does make me sad. What happened when the blade was found? Sorry, I, I, I'm as disappointed in myself as you're disappointed in me, probably for not finding that snippet. Uh, stop naysaying. So, th her dad claimed that he was... Is that really her dad, though? Drew said their parents were killed. Or am I wrong about I them? I to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Nice way of doing a loading screen. I approve. So, to hear the end of all these stories is going to be a trick to it. Challenge accepted. Staying. It's fixed. Bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. These are ways back, aren't they? The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night. Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swearing oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. 
Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Conspired to kill him. I looked through the mask and I can get this, through this side now. Okay. It's no less, by the way, creepy playing this and hearing those voices and that pulsing noise and everything that's going on. Uh, maybe it doesn't it doesn't have that effect on you. Maybe you are lucky. Great for you. Uh, um, to me, it's got this feeling where I feel like everything is settling up and inside my chest. You are guilty. Dillian. There he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him. Before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. He's slipping away too many times. You always let him disappear. Dillian, there he is. Quick. Is there a mask on both sides? to hoof it on back over there. Huh. You would think that I could just jump right over that, but... Kill them with love because they believed in him. He believes in you. I don't understand that part. Where is he? Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. I have to find the seagull. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian told her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. Story, story, story. Story? Just a, just a light spot. Okay. Do you remember what love feels like? Why wouldn't she? He was kind to her. Or is she giving up her soul to do this? Again, I want to bring up another game. That's it, isn't it? It's the wrong side. Come on. Okay. If that is that, then the shadow, it must be casting. Do you remember meeting him beneath the tree? It's not quite the shape, maybe not.
Do you remember how he made you feel? You can't go up there. You can't go up there. Not in this world. He saw that she was strong. Uh, that though, it looks almost correct. I'm changing worlds. Changing worlds, I can't get in here with the worlds changed. He cared in a way that nobody else did. Do you remember how he made you feel? In the other world, I could get over there. Ah! Oh, this one's a little harder. No, it's in this world that I figure out that symbol. And I have to go through the front door to get to him. There. Are you it? I swear that should be casting a shadow that should do it. Ooh, I almost missed you. The gods feast and rejoice. And amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe. Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. I did not ask the mistletoe. Dillian, the poisonous Dillian. fruit. You owe your life to It's still a chain, though. You broke him. You killed him. Could Where are you taking him? He's up there. How do you get up there? There's a way. Recreate. There. Those illusions, though. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. 
that she was caught between two worlds, that of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future, two realities tearing at her soul. I will replay. Can you remember what love feels like? Look what her best thing she loves. She destroys the thing she loves. Wasting your you have no time for this. Speed these rooms. These rooms mean nothing. I will replay that last story that was being told. The voices don't stop, and I hope you guys are wearing headphones because for a, psych a schizophrenic that, that suffers from psychosis, yeah, you're, you're hearing, or any it's a psychotic episode that with hallucinations of other voices, you could see why this could turn somebody into feeling like they're... Arrows here. Not quite here. Here. There. How do I make it into an arrow? There. first time. That drawbridge has to come down. How do I get there? What does it feel like to be in love? That gate has to come open. Your curse has claimed Dillian. 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 Oh, okay. Okay, I see. So I need to be able to take off the the restraint from the, the, the barricade from the door in this world and open this door over here so that I might use it in the dark world. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior within. Oh, I didn't go and replay that story. I left it off at a ship, something about it. Might have to... Do you remember the smell of his neck? Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall Dillian. see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with... Weep him out of hell. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Hmm. Okay. Well, I heard that in bits and pieces of the story. I'm okay with that, though, because there's something called subtitles, and I read the story, so... Reading, a beautiful thing. The 
Let's see if I can do all of these trials in one video, which is crazy balls. You should have listened to your father when you had the chance. I didn't listen to you. This love has tortured you, and it tortures me. There it is. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if they're a trick? The gods were lying. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turn these bonds to iron and dangle the poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom... Each time the venom dripped onto Loki's face, he writhed in agony. The Northmen say that it's the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. Hmm. He was kind to her. I don't think she's ready to accept this. You're still alive and Dillian's dead. He's waving me over. <laughs> I am looking down. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. And looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. <laughs> she felt safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. Darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. Down. She's not going to fall. She's strong. Why did she, Steady, she can do it. leave she can do to it. banish it? Why did she leave if it uh, was unraveling with him? She is not catching a break here. Shinoa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world that you and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares? Or is this the price you pay? What if this is pointless? What if you're have? wrong? What if this is not to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be. Gift that makes you so special in my life. What if this is the end? Just it's just point. a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You're being tested. We need to find a way out. It's just a game for you. Us. You never know which way it's going to go. Because <laughs> I <laughs> But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. protect him he accepted it that's an interesting tale of how to th think of it should it 
take your sight to rid you of it. I get what he was trying to say, but I also get why it's easier to say that as a person who's not being tormented by what they are. Somebody who doesn't, who doesn't, who sympathizes and does not empathize sometimes cannot understand why people will go to the lengths they will to save themselves from living a life they don't want to live. So. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Is that Senua? Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? This place feels... It's... Creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Did I not have a choice on the order I did these in? No matter which one I found first? Where are we? Turn back. This is wrong. There he is. There he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Find going it. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. Why is he gone? Where is he going? It's the test. Like the old warrior trials. Tell him what happened. Stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something. Sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. The bridge. It's broken. Fix it. You have to fix it. But that doesn't make her the cause. She tried to stop it. I have to get higher. Obligatory, can you take me higher? No. How do I get... Arch. I've been through the illusions before. The Northmen speak of a death moon. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm. And first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. That is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death in that house. I made a doorway to get back through. This one fixes the ladder. Valravin prepared me for this. She did it. She did it. You fixed the bridge. You fixed it. You passed the trial. Get to the house. You succeeded. That's not all to this trial.
This tri trial is shedding more light on what our curse is. And part of it is... Sensing death before it gets there. She could smell the rot before it even had started. Not in an okay place. Or it is, huh? It's close. It's close. Move away. Senua, move away. Run! Run now! Run! 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 Oh God. Where is he? This way. There. You've got them. Where's the dog? Find a way to find it. Get out. Get run. 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 Look at you. Don't let it see you. It's coming. Move away. You're lost. Uh oh. Uh oh. Scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are, like I am. You're not a monster. Seems to be wise, way beyond his years. This darkness has made me a monster. 
That is true. People fear what they don't know. Not to knock. This isn't a knock on religion in general. It's just to say that many times religion comes out of trying to explain the world around and the stories that are made of things like curses and and things like that. They are um they're there to bring reassurance that there's sense to all of it. Another trial? The Northmen say that their all father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you. Senua. Hmm. Where am I? I can't see. Who's there? Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. The others, the voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet, so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. No joke, it is quiet without the voices. Holy smokes. I can't go on. Lillian? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. It's hard to describe why I'm upset right now. Don't think me too weird. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? River. I hear water. Go to it. Reach the water. Good. That's your way out. What are we down the street? Uh, I swear, okay. Hearing his reassuring voice trying to save her from what she's fighting. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of him. It won't let me go. Senua. My father. He taught me the hardest battles of fought in the mind. Not the sword. No coward. 
prove that to me in the Warrior Trials. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't your battle. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior one day. You need This in itself is, this is, this is a good manifestation of a fight of the mind, the loss, the stumbling, the having no idea where to go, being scared. This battle is being fought in the mind. into the darkness it can look see you and look back trying to find a way out. I'm also trying to avoid that that thing that I don't want to focus on. What's happening? Was a fragmenting meaning I was going the wrong way. Hmm. I'm back where I started, aren't I? No 
wait, this time I see something different. Avoid them. It is so quiet without the voices. It's a different kind of disturbing. Feels like being abandoned. Don't look at them. Darkness is testing you. But you are in control. <laughs> I feel pretty tested right now. Because, holy smokes. Oh, how do I stay balanced when I can barely see my own character? I said my own character and I immediately wanted to correct and say uh, Senua. This game is on the border of having me sucked in. Well, there's a well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. Did you? I'd be running too. Dillian, is that you? I can see a light. Yes, I can see you too. Forced to relive it though. Is this her experience every time? Is this what she tried to fight? were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Go get the sword. You did it with the sword. You have to get the sword. 
with grammar reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. Well, I've done the trials and I've made this episode very long to get all of the trials in one. So there might be some editing magic. I don't think so, though, because every bit of that was gold. Um, it, it's upsetting me. Um, what she's considering the darkness coming for her. It, it's more like mental illness. Um, and many people with different, they said the, the hardest battles are fought in the mind, not with the sword. Um, a way to get pulled back from being at the bottom many times is having somebody that still believes in you when you don't. And so it was that whole sequence was almost like the stages of death of hearing the voices like denying and anger and depression. Um, I mean, we're, we're almost through all of Dabda, and it doesn't have to go in that, uh, in that way. It doesn't have to be denial, anger, uh, uh, bargaining, depression, acceptance. But this whole game is the stage of bargaining, where she, is, she has not accepted at all. But that was definitely her look of, her looks of depression and of um, her struggle before this even began. And how, why she's so driven to go find him, because no matter the way he died, even when it was while she was away and she felt like she could have defended, um, he pulled her out of her abyss, and so she's willing to pull him out of his. So the story is being told and it's coming full circle. And I, I'll go ahead and say it now. Um, is finally to me showing this is almost as if instead of fighting the giants and coming back less and less of a man every single time that she's fighting within herself and somehow either be, both trying to find her personal human self and becoming less of a person to, to, to do what she has to do. It's almost as if this game is like another half of the way a story can be told like Shadow of the Colossus. And that is the game I did not want to drop the name on, but I'm going to do it again in the next episode because this game, the way it tells the story is almost as if words somehow could be put to Shadow of the Colossus, because Shadow of the Colossus is one of the best told games, I think, in my opinion, ever. Best shown, best cinematic, best visuals, and all these things that come together without really having to say much, and it gets, it drives emotion and shows a passion and a reason for, for the actions without ever having to give you all of the story. This is giving you all of the story, and I think it's in a way that if there were ever to have been uh, a story told behind Shadow of the Colossus, this is the way it should have been done. So I get that feeling from it. I know I'm not beating these giant things. I am defeating gods to get through doors and I'm going to be facing another one with this sword, but um, we'll just have to delve into that. There's so many things in this game to delve into, so I think after all of it said and done, I'm going to have to look at the story again and then just do its own video of kind of like the story explained type thing. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. We're going to pull the sword out of the tree and go fight with Odin's blessing 
as a goddess on the same level to try to reclaim Dillian. So thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying and I hope to see you back here for the next part really, really soon. Bye.